Hi and welcome to C Programming. In today's class we're going to learn how to successfully implement character input by using the scanf statement. So let's have a look at the code. So, say for instance we want to input three characters into our program and then redisplay those characters back to the user. In order for us to do this we need to create three character variables and we will create three character variables called a b and c so in a normal case by using the scan if statement we will say scan if and then in double inverted commas percentage c for character and we will scan if that character into our variable a and we will do this for all three variables B and C so now we have scanned three characters into our program and it's stored inside A B and C and now we want to go and redisplay this back to the user by using a printf statement so we'll say printf, double inverted commas, percentage C, percentage C, percentage C. And we will display A, B, and C. So, let's see what happens if we build and run this application and what we can do. Okay, so we have our program. Just want to quickly close this again. Build and run. Okay, so now we've got our application and it waits for input. So I'm going to input a small letter A and then I'm going to press enter. I'm going to insert a small letter B and I'm going to press enter. And then, whoops, it displayed A and B back to us. But is that what we actually wanted? So, we had three scan if statements. So, we actually needed the user to input three values and not just two. So, what's the problem? So, let's quickly run this again and I'm going to explain to you what's the problem. So, first of all, we enter A. And that then after we have entered the small letter A, we press enter. And you need to understand, we press enter. A, and then enter. And how C programming works is there's an input stream. And inside this input stream, the letter A is in the input stream. And then the enter is in the input stream. So, A is in the input stream, then B. So we scan if a out of the input stream but enter is still in the input stream we press enter and then i'm going to press b now what's in the input stream enter is inside the input stream then b and now i press enter again so it's now enter b enter now enter is then scanned if into the variable b and then b is scanned if into the variable C. Can you see where the problem is? Inside our input stream, we have the enter. And this enter makes it very difficult for us to only enter characters each and every time. So how do we solve this problem? So inside the standard input and output library is a function called if flush. So if flush is used to flush our standard input and output stream and we need to flush it we need to clean our standard input and output we need to clean our standard input and output okay standard Oh, sorry, my standard input stream. We need to clean our standard input stream 
because we don't want the enter. Okay, so after each and every scan if we need to flush the standard input stream because the enter is only for us to terminate the input. We don't want to display the enter sign. So after every scan if when we scan if characters, we would need to use the if flush standard input function. So the if flush function will flush our standard input and then we will actually scan if only the characters. So let's see what will happen now. Okay, so now we've got the if flush statement that will scan, uh, will flush the enter sign after each scan if. So we press A, we press enter. Then the enter was flushed and now the program waits for the text character input. So B, we press enter and then enter is flushed and then the program waits for the next character input and we press C and we flush again and then we display only the characters back to the user A, B and C. So as you can see we need to flush the standard input um, input stream because enter is inside the input stream after every scan if. And we need to take it out because we actually don't want to display the enter sign or we don't want to save the enter because the enter is actually also a character. Okay, so that's the if flush statement that can be used to flush the standard input and output. We will use it to flush our standard input in order for us to clean it out and only scan if the character. So this was option one. Okay, option one is the if flush to solve this problem. I like the if flush statement because we can see what's going on. But option two is a quite easier option and it's a lot quicker and you can decide which option will work best for your case. So, option one was using the if flush function to clean out the input stream of before we continue to the next scan if. What we can also do is we can add a space in our scan if, and that will accommodate that enter sign to be scanned as well and to clear it out. So let's see what will happen now if we just add a small little blank space inside our scan if to make space for the enter as well. So let's build and run. We press A, we press B, and C and we display A, B and C. So as you can see we have made space for the intersign to be also scanned if and we also scan if the character. And thus this is option two and you can decide if you want to use the if flush function or this scan if function. But it's important to note that we need to accommodate the enter inside the input stream. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've learned something and I hope to see you soon.